Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. Alleluia. Suffer to redeem our loss. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are risen from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are reigning forever. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are returning in glory. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may, in truth, receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silius, and the Madrades had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook and the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourselves, we are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and everyone in his house, he took them in at that hour of night and bathed their wounds, and he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. 
I will send to you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia, alleluia. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the rule of the world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this Gospel today, Jesus is preparing his disciples really for his death, his resurrection, and his ascension into glory. And because he told them that he was going to lead them, grief filled their hearts. Many times we have grief when we lose a loved one, when someone who is very special to us moves to another part of the country, and we are filled with that grief and that sorrow. And of course the disciples do not understand what is happening. Jesus just said that he is going and that they cannot follow him. And they felt that separation. They felt that grief. But Jesus also prepares them. He prepares them for the Advocate. He prepares them for the Holy Spirit. He said, it was better that I go, because if I do not go, the Spirit will not come. The Advocate will not come. And we see how important the Holy Spirit is in the, our lives and in the life of the church, in the celebration of the sacraments. It is the Holy Spirit that gives us everything that we need to continue the work of Jesus, to remember his words, to continue to share the faith. Just as we heard in that first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, when Paul and Silas were in prison and the loud earthquake came and the jailer was very frightened, and Paul preached to him, and he became a believer, along with his entire household. And all of that happened because of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit encouraged the apostles to preach. The Holy Spirit touched the heart of that guard and of his family. And it was the Holy Spirit that allowed them to rejoice that they came to be believers. Over the past several days, I know many of you have heard about some plans to reopen our churches. And if you read the plans carefully, you will notice that it is going to be a very slow and a very gradual process, beginning with 10 people coming together to celebrate the sacraments, the sacrament of baptism, funeral reconciliation, and weddings. Public masses really are not in the first two phases. And so when we eventually lead to another phase where perhaps we are able to bring people into the church, many of you have sent me notes saying that, will we still record these messages? Will we still record these masses so that we could be a part of the community at home? because you're a part of an at-risk um, group, uh, perhaps you will still be frightened, as many are. And yes, until we find a vaccine, 
And until we really are cleared of this COVID illness and disease, I do intend on recording masses that will be available for all. It is a difficult time for all of us, but together we will continue to preach the gospel by whatever means that God has given to us. While we don't have the capability to live stream masses from the church, at this time the internet connection isn't very strong and we don't have very good cameras, that will be one of our first projects once we are able to gather again, that we will invest in some new technology for the church so that we, for those who cannot make it, for those who are ill, that they will be able to participate in the spiritual life of the church. But that is a ways off, so it is a ways off of reopening all of the church. Let us continue to pray. And let us ask the Lord for volunteers to help us during this process. I invite you to look on the website. There is a place there for you to volunteer if you are able. And to know that many hands make light the task. Let us place our needs before God. We pray today for the church throughout the world that she may preach the gospel with courage, with strength, with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who work in those essential industries, for those who protect, care, nurse us back to health, provide our food to help us maintain sanitation. May they be protected from harm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for those who are sick and suffering in any way, that they may know the healing touch of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died. May they be welcomed into the glory of the heavenly kingdom. We pray for those who will die today, that they may know the healing touch and be welcomed into the glory of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all scientists and researchers that they may come with a vaccine that will help eradicate this disease from the face of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray today for Father Charlie as he celebrates his anniversary of his ordination to the priesthood. Let us also pray for all those who are awaiting ordination, and let us pray for continued vocations to the priesthood, religious life, the diaconate, and to the many lay vocations in the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the intentions of this day's liturgy <coughs> for Laverne Bria, for Rocco Calfano, and for the special intention of Sante Rojas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all your needs and intentions that we bring to the altar this morning in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, as he lives and he reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, 
so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the wave of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. And let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. 